Hello everybody, it's me Heather and today I have a really quick nail swatch video or I should say nail wheel swatch video of the OPI Brights collection 2015. So let me just go ahead and pop this open. So the collection does consist of what, six, six shades and this one's really weird the way they did this actually. I'm going to link you to Karina Kaboom's channel. She actually reviewed the same set and I should have just watched her video again because I remember her mentioning this, but I didn't remember how many of these were repeats. So it's really weird the way they did this. So first off, the actual full-size Brights collection, 2015, does consist of six shades, but only three of those shades from the six are represented, and they took three shades from last year's Neons collection and re-promoted it in this mini set. So I guess that's a way of them getting you to go buy the full-size nail polish that was not represented in this set, but still a strange way to do it. So first off, let me start off with the repeats really quick, which is annoying because I have the minis of these from last year in the neon set. So, But on the upper hand, I will say this really quick about the colors that they selected for this collection. Last year, the neons collection, they did sell with the collection a full-size white nail polish that you were supposed to use as a base coat to really help bring out the neon factor in the shades. So this year, the shades that they selected for the Brights collection, notice they're not calling it the neons, they're calling it the Brights collection. Um, I did not require a white undercoat or white base coat to make these nail polishes show up, but let's just get into it. So first off, let me start off with the repeats. These were part of last year's OPI's Neon Collection. So the first shade, shade that they re-promoted, and it's really pretty, but I didn't need a second one. This is Hotter Than You Pink. So and let me show it to you on the nail wheel. Here it is with two coats on the nail wheel, and it's just a really pretty, slightly metallic pink. So, I mean, this is one that will appeal to a lot of people, but like I said, I didn't need it again. The other one that they re-promoted in this collection is Down to the Coral. And as you can see, it's just a nice, bright coral shade. On my viewfinder, I feel like it's showing up a little duller than it is in person. But here it is on the nail wheel. That is Down to the Coral. And it's got a slightly metallic sheen to it as well. But weird. Anyways, and the third re-promote from this miniature collection is Life Gave Me Lemons, which was a really fun, it is, once you add that white base coat to this one, it is a neon yellow, but honestly, if you apply two coats of this, it's actually a pretty decent formula. I feel like they actually improved on the formula of this one from last year, I have to say that, because this is without any kind of base coat or white undercoat, and this is just two coats. It is still slightly streaky. You may not notice the streaks in my viewfinder. It is slightly streaky at two coats, but at three coats, you should be able to attain full opacity. So if you're looking for a nice yellow, lemon yellow um, nail polish, there you go. So three re-promotes in a six-piece mini nail polish collection. Not, I'm glad I didn't pay full price for this. So I managed to find the set on eBay for $10.99 with free shipping. You can also purchase it on Ulta right now for almost $20, I believe. I think it's like $19.95. So if you have some kind of like promo codes or you have ultimate points or ultimate rewards that will knock down the price and you want to get it, go for it. But just make sure you don't already have three of these shades from last year's collection. Kind of annoying. But let's talk about the ones that are new to the collection. First off, let me start with the ones I do not have, and I'll just breeze through those really quick because I don't have them. So there is a red one, glossy red. If you, I forget the name of it, but if you love red polish and you can't get enough, you can go check that out. The one that I'm going to hunt down, and I'm going to obviously have to get in full size, is actually a pink glitter hex. Let me steal the name off the internet really quick. It looks, it's supposed to basically, it is one of those glitter top coats. It's called OPI on pinks and needles, like on pins and needles, on pinks and needles. It's got a clear base. It's got hot pink glitter with hexagonal pieces, and it's just, it looks really cool. It's going to be a cool top coat on top of any kind of dark, bright nail polish. So I'm going to have to hunt that one down, get a full size, since they obviously didn't represent that shade in this one. And the third shade that I do not have is the Berry Thought of You. But it's a very um, bright berry, if anything. It's a very bright berry from what I've seen online. It's 
really pretty. I might want to hunt that one down too. It actually looks quite pretty. But let's get into the ones that are represented in the kit, the three shades that they chose. And let's talk about these formulas. So we got this one. I actually really like. This is called Can't Hear Myself Pink. And it is a, as you can see, it's a light pink with gold micro shimmer really pretty opaque in two coats it does apply slightly streaky because or not streaky in a bad way but it's you know any metallic polishes usually just have that tendency to leave like you can see brush strokes that's the word i'm looking for brush brush strokes you can see the brush strokes but it's a really pretty color and opaque in two coats and i don't know i guess all the shimmers making my autofocus go crazy the next two shades perform rather poorly, but they're really pretty. So let's just talk about that really quick. So we got this one here, I see, as in the water, the ocean, I see you wear OPI. I love these kind of shades, honestly. Um, this is similar to the shade I had on my nails for like two weeks. It's just a really shimmery, iridescent, metallic blue. It's got a lot going on. Even my autofocus can't figure it out. It just can't zoom in. It just, it can't, it can't. <laughs> Let me show you. So the thing with, the problem with this one was, even with three coats, it's still, I can still see through the nail on the nail wheel. So I can already imagine if you apply three coats of this on your regular nail, you're still going to see your nail line. So although it's a pretty color, even after three coats, it's still rather it's iridescent. It's kind of it's kind of transparent, kind of see through. So if you're the kind of person that more than two coats is your limit, you're definitely going to want to skip. I see you wear OPI. And the third shade, Karina Kaboom. I'm going to refer to her again. Like I said, I'm going to link to her video down below. So check out her review in the description bar. I totally agree with what she has to say about this final shade. My car has navigation. So yes, it is a gorgeous deep navy blue it's actually a deep bright navy blue it is gorgeous absolutely horrendous formula she mentioned that and she's totally right um took three coats to become opaque on the wheel but even then you can't see it on the in the video probably but it still has streaks it applies unevenly it just had this weird runny formula that, you know, I apply the coat and, you know, I went and took care of the other nails and then I come back and I'm sure by then the coat's dry, I apply another coat, still see-through, still streaky. And even on the third coat, it still applies streaky. I don't know how well you can see this. I can see the streaks in the viewfinder, so you probably can. So even after three coats, it's still streaky as hell. <laughs> so, uh, OPI Bright's collection this year, you know, I'm, I'm not really doing this review justice since I'm missing three of the shades and because for whatever reason the minis collection this year didn't really represent the actual current collection they did three repromotes but then in the actual full-size collection there are six new shades so weird the way they did this and like I said I got mine off of eBay and from a reliable seller that I've I believe I've ordered stuff from before sometimes it's kind of hard to keep track of who you've ordered from but I'm sure I've placed orders with this person before so it's not like there's any kind of monkey business going on. All right. So, but overall, it's a pretty selection of colors, though. So if you don't have any of these, there's no reason for you not to pick it up. Just be forewarned that the last two shades here are three coders, and even then, they're still not fully opaque. So they might be suitable for some kind of nail art. Like I said, this one will look gorgeous with the pink glitter um, overcoat that I don't have, that I want to hunt down. And... But that's it. All right, let me know what you guys think of this collection. Let me know if you got anything from the collection. Let me know, are you totally annoyed with them re-promoting shades in a miniature collection? Because I honestly rely heavily on their miniature collections for me to get a good sample, representative sample of the current collection. And, you know, because I didn't pay attention, I didn't do my homework, I kind of got ripped off. <laughs> I hate to say that. All right. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe here. Leave some comments and questions for me. I love it when you guys interact with me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.